Hey there, Cricketers. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're diving into a question I get asked all the time. Which Cricket should I buy in 2023? Well, you're in the right place because I'm here to help you make that decision. Whether you're brand new to Cricket or just thinking about upgrading your existing machine, this video is for you. I'd love to know in the comments which kind of Cricut machine you have or are thinking about buying. I wonder if your decision might change by the end of this video. First, let's talk about the available Cricut machine models in 2023. The lineup includes the Cricut Maker 3, Cricut Maker, Cricut Explore 3, Cricut Explore Air 2, Cricut Joy, and their two latest brand new machines, the Cricut Joy Extra and the Cricut Venture. They actually used to sell some machines even older than those ones, but they're not listed on their website anymore and they're pretty out of date. So I'm not going to confuse you by talking about those. Just know that if you find someone selling an old Cricut machine on Marketplace that uses something called cartridges, don't buy it. Stick to the machines that they currently have listed for sale on their website. Cricut has come out with so many new machines over the years that it's easy to feel overwhelmed and confused by all of the different choices. Just take a deep breath and watch this video because I'm gonna break down all of the differences for you and help you decide which machine is best for your crafting needs. I'm going to start with their newest, most expensive machine, the Cricut Venture, and work my way down from the most expensive to the least expensive Cricut machines. The Cricut Venture. The Cricut Venture is unlike any other Cricut machine out there. It's a wide format, professional cutting machine. It's great for business use if you want to turn your Cricut hobby into an income generating small business. It cuts over 100 different materials. You can adjust your project size to cut either 13 inch or 25 inch width materials with or without the mat. The Cricut Maker and Explore series only cut widths up to 12 inches, so this machine can make projects twice as wide. It's like having two Cricut makers side by side. It cuts single images up to 12 feet long and repeated images up to 75 feet long. Compare that to their next best machine, the Cricut Maker 3, which only cuts projects up to 12 feet long. That's still an impressive length, but nowhere near as long as the 75 foot long projects you can make with a Cricut Venture. Honestly, I don't even know what kind of projects you would ever wanna make that are that long though. You would think that this machine would take up a ton of space to cut materials that big, but it has a unique space saving design. The Cricut Venture has a tilted 45 degree design, which saves you about three feet of space in front of and behind the machine. The Cricut Venture also cuts and writes insanely fast, up to 25.4 inches per second. Think about that for a minute. Over two feet per second? That's mind-blowing. Compare that to the Cricut Maker that cuts 11.3 inches per second. This machine is extremely versatile, allowing you to cut, draw, foil, score, and cut huge print and cut designs. It uses the same Cricut Design Space software as all of the other Cricut machines, so if you're upgrading, you don't have to learn a whole new software. The Cricut Venture is currently listed at $999.99 which is more than double the price of their next best machine, the Cricut Maker 3. Should you buy the machine alone or as a bundle? When shopping for Cricut machines, they're sold individually or as part of a bundle. The bundle includes most, if not all, of the materials that you need to get started and are usually a better deal than if you bought all of the materials separately. If you're starting out, I would recommend getting a bundle. But for the sake of simplifying these comparisons, I'm only going to discuss the cost of the machines without the bundles. At the end of this video, I've put together a cost comparison chart to make it easy to see the price differences based on the model. If you're someone who always wants and can afford the latest and greatest stuff out there, this is the machine for you. Cricut Maker vs Cricut Maker 3. Now let's see how the Cricut Venture compares to the two machines from the Maker series. You're probably wondering what's the difference between the Cricut Maker and the Cricut Maker 3. The Cricut Maker 3 is a newer model in the Cricut Maker series. The difference between the two machines is the addition of Smart Materials to the Cricut Maker 3. Smart Materials is Cricut's special brand of vinyl, also called Smart Vinyl. This Smart Vinyl allows for faster cutting speeds and the ability to work matte-free on projects up to 12 feet in length. The Maker 3 is also slightly larger and heavier than the original Maker. And since it's newer and better than the original Cricut Maker, it costs more money. The Cricut Maker 3 costs $100 more than the Cricut Maker. It's currently listed at 
compared to the Cricut Maker, which is $299.99. Is the ability to cut smart materials without a mat in 12 foot long projects really worth the extra $100? The answer to that will vary depending on who you ask and what you want to make, but my personal opinion is no. I don't think it's worth the extra $100 for those features and here's why. A three foot roll of Cricut's permanent smart vinyl is listed at $8.99. You can get a six foot roll of off-brand vinyl on Amazon for $4.99, sometimes even less depending on the brand if there's a sale. So you get twice the vinyl for half the price of smart vinyl. Smart vinyl is a lot more expensive than traditional vinyl and it does the same thing. The only benefit is that you can cut without a mat and make long cuts. What kind of projects can you make with a 12 inch by 12 foot sheet of smart vinyl? Mostly just party banners, large wall decals, and maybe some vinyl decals for cars. And with a little tinkering in Cricut Design Space, you can do the same thing with your Cricut Maker. I hardly ever need party banners in my life, and if I do, I run to the Dollar Tree and grab one for a buck. So for me, this isn't a feature that I really care about. I own and love my Cricut Maker. It does pretty much everything that a Cricut Maker 3 does, but it's not compatible with smart materials and you need to use a mat when cutting. You cannot cut mat free with regular vinyl that's not smart vinyl. Mats come in two different sizes, either 12 by 12 inch or 12 by 24 inch. It still cuts super fast, but not quite as fast as the new Cricut Maker 3. Both the Cricut Maker 3 and the Cricut Maker work with 13 different attachments, usually sold separately. The tools compatible with the Cricut Maker machines are the premium fine point blade, foil transfer tool, pens and markers, deep point blade, scoring stylus, bonded fabric blade, single and double scoring wheels, rotary blade, wavy blade, knife blade, engraving tip, debossing tip, and perforation blade. These two machines have print and cut capability on both white and colored paper and the ability to cut over 300 materials. They also both have Bluetooth and USB connectivity. Now that you're an expert in the differences between the Cricut Venture, Cricut Maker, and Cricut Maker 3, let's see how they compare to the machines from the Cricut Explore series. Cricut Explore Air 2 versus Cricut Explore 3. The machines from the Explore series include the Cricut Explore Air 2 and the Cricut Explore 3. The Cricut Maker and the Cricut Explore Air 3 were released at the same time and have a lot of similar features. Both of these three machines have the ability to use smart materials and cut without a mat. I used to own the Cricut Explore Air 2 before I upgraded to the Cricut Maker. I decided to upgrade from the Explore Air 2 to the Maker because the Maker can cut faster and cut more materials. The Cricut Maker has a fast mode that allows you to cut two times faster than the Explore Air 2. This is important if you're cutting a lot of materials for a business like I was. The difference between the Maker 3 and the Explore 3 is the cutting technology. The Maker series of machines has what is called the Adaptive Tool System. This tool system allows the Maker machine to work with 13 tools, whereas the Explore line of machines only works with 6 tools. The Maker tools can cut, write, score, foil, deboss, engrave, and more. The Explore 3 can cut, write, score, and foil. With the Cricut Maker, you can engrave, deboss, and even cut wood, but you can't do these things with the Explore machines. You can cut more than 300 materials with the Cricut Maker compared to 100 materials with the Explore Air 2. The Cricut Explore 3 is currently priced at $299.99, so the same price as the original Cricut Maker. If I had to choose between these two machines at the same price, I would go with the Cricut Maker because it has the adaptive tool system that allows you to cut so many more materials. Now let's dive into the Cricut Joy series. Cricut Joy versus the Cricut Joy Extra. The Cricut Joy is your most compact and portable machine. It's a lot smaller than all of the other machines. Since it's a lot smaller than their other machines, you can do a lot less with it. The maximum cut size with a Cricut Joy is four and a half inches wide, compared to a Maker or Explorer that cuts 11.7 inches wide. This smaller cut size makes it really difficult to make projects like shirts, signs, wall decals, or any other large projects. Check out this recommended decal size chart I found on shopcraftables.com. Their smallest recommended decal size for an adult shirt is 9 by 9 inches, so you could never make adult shirts with a Cricut Joy without breaking up the design 
and puzzle piecing it back together. The only kind of apparel that you could probably make with a joy would be baby onesies. The Cricut Joy would be great for adding names to water bottles, making cards, labels, or other small vinyl decals for things like wine glasses, mugs, or car decals. This machine would be a great secondary machine to take with you to craft fair so you could personalize on the go. I really wouldn't recommend this machine for business use or even as your first Cricut machine because of how limited you are with the size and types of materials it can cut. You may be a beginner now, but you're only a beginner for a little while. A Cricut machine is kind of like a gateway drug for other crafts, and before you know it, you'll be wanting to make anything and everything. You might think you're saving money now by going for their cheapest machine, but you're not saving money in the long run if you end up wanting to upgrade to a better machine down the line. The Cricut Joy is currently listed at $129.99 on sale from their regular price of $179.99. The Cricut Joy also only has one tool spot, so you can either cut or draw, but not at the same time. All of the other Cricut machines have two tool spots, so you can draw then cut easily without having to stop and swap out the tools. With the Cricut Joy, you can cut, write, draw, and foil. You cannot score, engrave, deboss, or perforate. You can't cut wood or make any large projects. The Cricut Joy uses smart materials, so you can cut without a mat, and you can cut long projects up to four feet in length. I own a Cricut Joy, and the only thing that I really use it for is making cards every once in a while. Now let's talk about the last machine on our list, the Cricut Joy Extra. The Cricut Joy Extra is one of the newest machines they just came out with. It's a step up from the Cricut Joy, but still not as good as the Cricut Explore Air 2, the Cricut Explore 3, the Cricut Maker, the Cricut Maker 3, or the Cricut Venture. It's pretty much an in-between of the Cricut Joy and the Explore Maker series. The Cricut Joy Extra cuts projects 8.5 inches wide by 4 feet long. My initial thought when I heard this cutting size is that it would be annoying to work with because most vinyls come in 12 inch rolls, so you would have to do a lot of cutting before you can even start your project. No other brands that I know of make vinyl in 8 inch wide rolls. Because it's a little wider than the original Cricut Joy, you could probably make shirts with this machine, but there aren't many additional tools that are compatible with the Cricut Joy or Cricut Joy Extra. You can use a fine point blade, a foil transfer tool, pens and markers. That's it. That's hardly anything compared to the 13 tools that you can use with the Maker. Some project ideas that you could make with a Cricut Joy Extra are vinyl decals, written labels, cards, gift tags, full color stickers, and apparel. Print and Cut is compatible with the Cricut Joy Extra, but not the Cricut Joy. I use Print and Cut all the time, so this is a super important feature to have in my opinion. Print and Cut is when you print a design out on an inkjet printer and then your machine cuts the design out. You can use a special feature to make things like invitations, gift tags, stickers, and multicolored designs without having to worry about layering vinyl. The Cricut Joy Extra is currently selling for $199. So in conclusion, there's no one-size-fits-all answer to which Cricut should I buy in 2023. It really depends on your crafting needs, budget, and space. Do your research, consider your goals, and choose the one that best suits you. Whatever you pick, you're in for a world of creative possibilities. If you decide you're ready to purchase a Cricut machine, I would recommend getting one directly from Cricut's website and not a third party. I've found that Cricut usually has better deals and their bundles include more. When you buy directly through Cricut, you also get a free trial of Cricut Access, which is their huge library of fonts and designs. If you decide you want to purchase a Cricut Access subscription, they even have a $40 off deal right now. I'll leave an affiliate link down below in my video description. If you purchase a Cricut machine through my link, I'll receive a small commission at no additional cost to you. In my next video, I'll be sharing my Cricut Beginner's Guide full of tips and tricks for getting started. Thanks for joining us today. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave your questions in the comments below. Happy crafting, everyone!